Okay, so I'm here for a week two of Accutane, first video of the new year. Still doing the Accutane, I'm on day 14, and I just figured I'd give you guys a close-up of my face. I've changed the lighting a little bit, hopefully that helps you get a better look. Obviously, from week one, I've actually broken out. My face has actually gotten a lot worse. Uh, it's not really all that visible, but the patch on the side of my face is uh, very red over here which is pretty normal. Uh, I have two large inflamed pimples here that broke out this morning and they are really quite sore. They stick out like a sore thumb. My chin last week was looking pretty rough. I had a lot of uh, very red and inflamed pimples and they're very hard and they're actually quite painful even still but they have gone down significantly uh, they're still here and my face is still very rough however they're not as red as they were last week which I'm uh, very very thankful for and this side of my face really is uh, not too bad but I did have uh, a big pimple right here which actually went away today so definitely have had some improvement in a couple of areas but then it doesn't really make that big of a difference because something else is going to pop up on the other side of my face or also on my forehead which I don't tend to pay much attention to because I always have my bangs down. I've always had bangs but uh, have been breaking out over the last two or three days but I'm still trying to remain positive. The dermatologist did warn me and I was prepared for it so I'm not too bummed and I obviously haven't just assumed that the medication isn't working because it is and I'm still feeling a lot of side effects. A lot of the side effects I talked about last week I'm still experiencing but they are getting more and more severe so drying of my skin. Last week I mentioned that my lips were starting to dry uh, my nose, my face, uh, my eyes, and my scalp were all drying. Those are all still happening. My lips definitely becoming more severe. I'm having to apply lip chap every hour or two. Uh, like right now, I just put it on before I start talking because if I don't, my lips are going to be so dry and I'm probably going to have to reapply after as well. So it depends on what I'm doing. When I'm at work, I tend to apply it a lot more often than I do when I'm at home and I still put Vaseline on at night which really uh, does wonders for me. This week my nose has been absolutely terrible. My nose is drying like crazy. Uh, fortunately it doesn't affect me that badly. If I put a moisturizer on it, it tends to burn. Imagine that you've had a cold and you've been blowing it a lot and your nose gets raw. We've all kind of had that feeling where uh, your nose is very red and dry and anytime you put a Kleenex on it or you put uh, something on it to soothe the pain, it's going to hurt. That's pretty much what's going on. I'm having a lot of peeling uh, in here and uh, underneath my nose and to remedy that, I have also been putting Vaseline on that as well, usually uh, just at bedtime. Last week, I didn't actually have a face moisturizer. I went out and I bought one. It's got SPF 15, which is great because Accutane does make you very, very prone to the sun, which is actually funny because I was on an antibiotic before that also made me very prone to the sun and I burnt like crazy and I will tell you that it is not fun at all to have a major major sunburn just by being in the sun for a few hours so even in the winter the SPF has been really really nice it's kind of oily you know greasy which I'm not too big of a fan of but it's not that big of a deal because my face is so dry anyways and it's really nice because I'm finding that I'm only having to reapply that lotion twice a day. I put it on when I get up and I put it on when I go to bed. So I've managed to keep my face as a whole uh, pretty well maintained, which is good. I was struggling a bit with that last week. 
And I was really surprised because when I started this treatment, I thought that the peeling of my actual face was going to be the worst. I thought I was going to get a lot of peeling like in here, uh, which I do, but it doesn't really hurt. It, it really doesn't bother me all that much. It's everything else that, uh, that kind of bothers me. So uh, that definitely improved. My eyes have also improved. Last week, I talked about how my eyes were so irritated, they were so dry, and I was having to put eye drops in them a lot. But fortunately, now that I've kind of gotten used to the feeling, I can kind of sense when my eyes are going to get dry, and I can put some eye drops in them, or I can change what it is that I'm doing. It was interesting because I found that my eyes were almost more of a psychological thing where if I was doing something and my eyes started to kind of feel heavy or they started to feel dry I would really focus on the dryness of my eyes and it would really bother me for such a long time but what I've started to do is if my eyes feel dry I'll just try to move on to another activity or do something so that I don't think about it uh, and then it really doesn't bother me as much so that's been great uh, the eye dryness was something that was really hard to get over. It was making me tired and it was really hard to concentrate, but I'm really glad that that has cleared up. Um, I'm really, really happy about that. So, you know, side effects are kind of on and off. Some of them have gotten better and some of them have gotten worse. The last thing that I'll mention is my scalp. Last week I started to see small signs of my scalp and my head drying out. I was getting itchy here and there and I started to see signs of dandruff and the last couple of days especially I seemed to just not be able to stop scratching my head and I have been getting a lot of dandruff so it's very apparent that my, my scalp is drying out and I'm going to try and invest in anti-dandruff shampoo, maybe Head & Shoulders or Salsen Blue and see if that will uh, fix the problem uh, just because it's going to be worth it if it will get rid of the feeling that I'm having because I find that scalp itchiness is actually the worst because it's like you'll scratch one spot and then another spot will be itchy uh, and you'll have to scratch it and it just never seems to end or at least that's kind of what I've been feeling. So more on that as it develops. And I'm interested to see how things are gonna go in the next week. I have a dermatology appointment in February. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to closely keep track of how my side effects are so that when I visit the dermatologist, we can talk about side effects, you know, we can change my prescription or talk about anything else we need to talk about because I think that's very important when you're doing a treatment like this and I'm also trying to watch out for the more serious side effects, the ones that are permanent. I hadn't really talked about permanent side effects last video. Uh, most of the side effects that you get through this medication are temporary, so skin dryness will clear up, irritation, things like that, but there are actually permanent side effects that you can suffer for uh, for the rest of your life, such as depression and uh, irritable bowel syndrome being the two biggest ones. So I'm definitely monitoring uh, my mood, uh, seeing if there's any major changes in my mood because depression is also a very, very common side effect and I'm not a person to become depressed for you know long periods of time anyways. So uh, definitely just very, very good to keep track of these things and it's important to talk to somebody about it. I've also still been getting headaches, which is something else that I'm trying to keep really close eye on because it could be high blood pressure. I had mentioned that the medication does or can potentially uh, do a huge change in your blood pressure. So I'm trying to keep hydrated uh, and just really trying to be very proactive in taking care of myself the best that I can before I can go back and speak to a doctor or a dermatologist but I'm halfway through the first month and so far it really hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be so that's pretty much all that I have to say if I have anything 
that's breathtaking or amazing, then I'll be back next week. And if not, then hopefully we can see some really, really good results by the end of the first month, which I'm, you know, really, really excited for. So I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you next time.